The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 26 through 29. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on November 30th, 1972, in Hyderabad, India. Tathapi Tang Mahabhava Nainang Sochitam Marahis So, this is the opinion of the modern scientist uh, or the Buddha philosophy. The soul there is nothing like soul separately, but by combination of matter at a certain stage, the living symptoms are manifest. And uh, as it is combination of several chemicals, so it is also finished as soon as the body is finished. There is no nothing as soul. That is their opinion. So, for argument's sake, Krishna says, if you think like that, that the body is all in all, by certain uh, condition, the material elements combine, and again it is finished. So Arjun was declining to fight, so they, for argument said, Krishna says that if you think like that the body is everything, so it will be destroyed automatically. So why you are so much afraid? Suppose I have combined some chemical, and uh, it is destroyed, say bottles of chemicals, some or other it is destroyed. So who laments for that? You can purchase another bottle. Uh, that is simply for argument's sake. Actually that is not the position. Now if you think that the combination of chemical can produce living force, then why don't you do it in the laboratory? The chemicals are there, you can combine and just produce a small ant moving. Then it is. Science means observation and experiment. So if you simply observe, and cannot make any experiment practical. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, then that is not science, that is only theory. So that is not possible. No uh, scientist has ever made any living entity by combination of chemicals in the laboratory. Nobody can do that. Jatasahi dhruva mittu dhrumaṁ janma mṛtasacha tasmāt apurihājyāthe natyaṁ sūcitaṁ arahasi. Jatasahi dhruva mittu, it is a fact that by the cycle of birth and death, one who dies, he has to accept again uh, another body. So why you are deviating from your duty? The warfare of the Kshatriyas and the warfare at the present moment of the whimsical politicians, they, they are different. Uh, formerly it was not democracy. <coughs> Only the Kshatriyas would fight especially the king, the royal order, 
they should come forward. Not that the politicians are sitting very comfortably at home and poor uh, people, they are given to fight in front of the enemy. No, that was not the system. The king must come forward. The other side, the king also come, <coughs> and the opposite side, they also, he also should come forward and fight. It is duty, and as soon as the king is killed by the other party, then the other party becomes victorious. There is no more fight. It is not the so-called king and president is sitting very comfortably, and the poor soldiers they are fighting unlimitedly, and the war is going on for uh, many years. Uh, just like last war, we saw uh, at least eight years it continued. Uh, eight years, six years, no. The battle of Kurukshetra, uh, it was finished uh, within eighteen days. Uh, there is no use of prolonging the war unnecessarily. If the chief man is killed, then war is finished. Therefore, Krishna is advising Arjuna, suppose your grandfather on the other side dies, so where is the cause of lamentation? He is old man. He will get another new body. So you should be rather happy that your old grandfather is going to have a new body. Jatasahi, Dhruvamattu, and everyone will die. You die today or tomorrow or say fifty years after. You have to die. It is as sure as death. So why should you deviate from your duty? You are a Kshatriya. Your duty is to fight. Why you are afraid of being uh, dead or killing others? This is your duty. <coughs> Abhaktadini Bhutani Bhakta Madhyani Bharata Abhaktam Nidhanam Anneva Tatra Kapuri Veda. So the body was not existing uh, before, uh, and it will not exist after death. So in the uh, Bhaya media, if the manifestation of body is there, so why should be the object of lamentation? In this way Krishna is trying to convince Arjuna that he should act as Khatriya and perform his duty. A Khatriya is profited either dead or alive. That will be explained because in a, in a fighting uh, I mean to say, real religious fighting on principle. Uh, it is a khatriya is not responsible for killing. Just like in sacrificial ceremony, if the animal is killed, the brahman is not responsible for killing an animal. Uh, so, because it is duty, it is ordained by the sastras. Therefore. They are not ordinary killing. Abhaktyani and Nidhanani eva tatraka apurivat. It was non manifested before and it will become non manifested again. So, why should you lament for the Bhaya media? Ashtajabat prasati kaschit enam, ashtajabat badati tataiva chanya, ashtajabat chenam. Anya Sinoti Suttapi Enang Beda Na Chaiva Kaschi. There are many theories and philosophical speculation all over the world about understanding the soul. Therefore, Krishna is concluding that somebody is explaining wonderfully, somebody is hearing wonderfully, but even after hearing and speaking, it remains a mystery, and less intelligent person can
cannot understand. Uh, that is the fact. Uh, there are so many theories. Therefore, we have to accept the reality from the authority. Uh, by theorizing, by speculating, we cannot come into any decision. Uh, I may be very good logician. You may be greater logician. So you can defeat my logic. I can defeat your logic. So what is the conclusion? This kind of talking, it is called kutarkha, unnecessarily talking, because you will not come to my decision. I will not come to your decision. So everyone is mysterious. So in this way we cannot understand which is beyond the perception of our knowledge. Achinta khuluje bhava natas tarke na jujay. Things which are beyond our perception. We should not simply try to understand by logic and argument. It is useless waste of time. Because nobody can decide theory. Uh, the modern so-called scientists, they also write like, perhaps it may be that. Like, it may be millions of years it was like this. It may be. What is the value of saying it may be? Say it definitely. Uh, that they cannot do. So all the scientist theory, like perhaps maybe per chance if it comes to be true. So such kind of argument has no value. Therefore our Shastra says, achinta khalijo bhava, beyond your perception beyond your sense person. Uh, don't try to understand it by argument and logic. Uh, then how to know it? Uh, know it from the uh, person who knows it. Uh, that is knowledge. That's why we are trying to get knowledge about the soul, not by experiment, but we are trying to understand from the words of Krishna. Krishna is the authority. So he says in the beginning, Dehina Sminjatha Dehi Kaumara Jovanangara. We can, Krishna says, and we can think over it and ponder over it, then we come to conclusion. And the other process, Vedic process is, Jasya Devi Parabhakti Jatha Devi Tatha Guru, Tasyaite Kutita Jhatta Prakasanti Maha. Our process is descending process. Uh, we are not trying to understand by the ascending process, uh, inductive or deductive. Uh, we accept the statements of the Vedas. Therefore, we haven't got to uh, make much effort to understand the thing. Veda uh, vachan, Shruti, Shruti pramana. Uh, there are three kinds of evidences, direct perception and uh, evidence from the Vedas and evidence from uh, history, oitijya. Pratyakha, uh, oitijya, uh, śruti. Three kinds of evidences. So pratyakha and oitijya is neglected. According to our Vedic system, śruti pramāna. If it is statement, the statement is there in the Suti, in the Vedas, then we accept. Uh, we have got a society in India. Uh, they call Veda Praman. We cannot accept without, uh, it is not mentioned in the Vedas. That's, a, that's nice. But there is another class who are described in the Bhagavad Gita by uh, Krishna himself, Veda Bada Rata. They simply unnecessarily fight uh, on the basis of so-called Vedic knowledge. Uh, Vedic knowledge must be understood from the Guru. That is in it. They uh, defy that. Uh, they, the Vedic injunction is Kathopanisha. Tadvigyanatham sa Guru meva avigachet. Uh, he to understand the Vedas, you must approach a guru. Uh, otherwise you cannot understand. 
just like it is forbidden that without becoming a brahmana, nobody should read Veda, because he cannot understand unless one is qualified brahman, unless one has approached another qualified brahman who knows, there is no question of understanding Veda. Just like Max Muller translated Veda. What does he know about Veda? Such kinds of translation, understanding is useless. Tadvigyanatham sa guru meva abhigacchet. Abhigacchet means he must. There is not that I may go or I may not. No, you must. If you really serious. In our Vaishnava parampara also, Vaishnava uh, parampara is actually Vedic parampara. Uh, that Adu Gudvasram. Adu Gudvasram. To enter into the spiritual life, uh, first thing is first of all to accept a guru. Uh, that is all big, big stalwart. Even Vyasde. Vyasde, the wonderful literature. This reading, we are reading Bhagavad Gita. It is bad day literature. He heard from Krishna and wrote it. And not only this, the Mahabharat, the Puranas, the Vinanda Sutra, the eh? Vinanda Bhagavatam, a wonderful literature. Uh, there is no possibility of producing such literature by any scholar of this day. It is not possible. Uh, but he accepted Guru, Narad. Narad. When after compiling all the Vedas and Puranas, uh, even Vedanta Sutra, Vaisdev was not satisfied himself. He was uh, seeming very morose. At that time, his spiritual master Narada came uh, and he asked, Why? You are morose. You have done so much nice literary work. Uh, so why you are not very happy? So Vaisdev replied, Yes, my lord, I am actually not happy, but I cannot understand why I am not happy. So you know everything. Kindly describe why I am not happy. So at that time Narada uh, replied him, hey, that all the literatures you have so far met, they are with reference to the body and the mind. Uh, you have nothing described very nicely about the Supreme Soul. Uh, so now you try to describe something about the Supreme Lord, about the Supreme Soul. Uh, that will make you happy. Therefore, he described the Simada Bhagavat. Uh, this is the history of Simada Bhagavat. And his last contribution was, mature contribution was Vedanta Sutra. So, from the Vedanta Sutra, he began writing Simada Bhagavat. Janmadha Sajataha. This is the beginning of Vedanta Sutra. Athata Brahma Jignasa. He said in a different language, jiva satatta jignasa. So a human life should be engaged, inquiring about the absolute truth. And he should inquire from a person who, who has heard about the absolute truth from a realized person. This is a, that word is called sruti, parampara, disciplic succession. One, just like Vyasdev is hearing from Narada. Narada is authorized. He has heard from Brahma. Brahma has heard from Krishna. Uh, this is the parampara system, disciplic succession. Uh, so there are four parampara systems. Uh, they are known as, at the present moment, Ramanuja Sampradha, Brahma Sampradha, Brahma Sampradha, yeah. Madhya Sampradaya. Brahma Sampradaya, Madhya Sampradaya is saying. In Rudra Sampradaya and Sri Samadama, Kumara Sampradaya, there is four Sampradaya. 
So we should hear from the Sampradaya Acharya by disciple succession, as Krishna recommends in this Bhagavad Gita. Evam parampara prātam imam rāja sayo vidu imam vipasyati jūgaṁ pratvāna hamabhyam vivasyāna mano vipraho manu ikhā kavit prabhid evam parampara prātam imam rāja sayo vidu. So that is the system. We should receive knowledge by the bona fide parampara system. Otherwise it may be bogus. Because uh, without parampara system we cannot understand actual fact and we have to become in the disciplic succession. We must accept a guru, tasmad gurum prabhaddeta jignasu sre uttamam. If you are actually eager, anxious to understand the spiritual science, then you must approach guru. Tasmad gurum prabhaddeta jignasu sre uttamam. Uttam means transcendental subject matter. You cannot learn it. Just like if you purchase one uh, pharmacology book from the uh, bookseller's shop, and if you read at home, do you mean that you become a medical practitioner, pharmacist? No. You must go to the university, you must go to the college, you must hear the experienced professor and learn it and practically experiment it. Then you can learn. And not that by purchasing a book you become a medical practitioner or a lawyer. That is not possible. Uh, therefore the direction is that tadvigyanatham sa guru meva abhigacchet must. Here also you see Krishna in the beginning was talking with Arjuna. That's like friends. Uh, but when Arjuna understood it, that we are talking like friends, so we cannot come into conclusion. Uh, that friends, they talk, they argue, they put uh, logic. That way we cannot understand. Natastarkena yuja. Then, tadvigyanatham sa guru meva abhigacchet. So therefore, Arjuna uh, surrendered himself. Shishasthi haṁ sārimāṁ prapanna. Tatpanna dosu apahata sabhāva. So I, I can understand that I am a chatriya. It is my duty to fight. But in front of my grandfather and relatives, I am declining to fight. Therefore, I am affected with tarpanna dosu. I am deviating from my duty. So, uh, why I am deviating from this duty? Uh, therefore, I am surrendering myself unto you. So in a position of perplexity, uh, one must approach a bona fide spiritual master. Uh, that is the process, Vedic process. Uh, well, otherwise it is not possible. Uh, and our Sanatana Goswami, uh, a predecessor, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's direct disciple, he gives his direction that avaśnava mukhadgīrna pūta hari kathāmṛtam sabanam na kattabbam. He says, he says, do not hear from a person who is not a vaśnava. He must, one must become a vaśnava. Otherwise his so-called ideas and interpretation has no value. Has no value. Just like uh, in your country, mm-hmm. yeah, South India, a doctor Radha Krishna, he has done so many work. Uh, but mm-hmm. to tell you frankly, it is useless labor. Uh, because he has said in one of his uh, writings that Bhagavad Gita is mental speculation. He is surpassing all the acharyas who came, who, who appeared in South India. Ramana Charja appeared in South India. Madhya Charja appeared in South India. Nimmarka appeared in South India. 
Vishnu Swami appeared in South India. Sankaracharya appeared in South India. Uh, the South India is so blessed. And he also appeared in South India. He is decrying all the Acharyas. Just see the position. He says, Bhagavad Gita is a mental speculation. Uh, and he has interpreted in a different way. Uh, Krishna says that Manmanamahamadbhakta Madhyari Mangana Maskuru and if you have seen Dr. Radha Krishna's uh, translation of Bhagavad Gita, he says it is not to Krishna. Krishna says directly that Manmanamahamadbhakta, he says not to Krishna. Uh, so uh, this defect will be there unless one is Sadatar Sampanna Vaishnava, self realized. Therefore, Sanatana Goswami says, Avaishnava Mukhadgina Putahari Kathamritam. Our first guru is Krishna. To understand Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna is understanding uh, that uh, Bhagavad Gita from Krishna directly. So, after understanding Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna accepts Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram Paramam Bhavan, Purusam Shastatam Adhyam. These are the words. And Arjuna also accepted, it is very, very difficult to understand your personality. Now people may say that Arjuna was Krishna's friend. To satisfy his friend, he has accepted him as Param Brahma. But that is not a fact. Or John gives evidences that not only I, but the great authorities like Vyasa, Narada, Asita, Devala, they have also accepted you as the Supreme Personality of God. In the recent ages, uh, this is 5,000 years ago, even 1,500, Sankaracharya, uh, who is impersonated, he has also accepted Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. So Bhagavan Sayam Krishna, he has written in his commentary on the Bhagavad Gita, Narayana Bhaktya Abhak, uh, Para Abhaktya, uh, Narayana Para Abhaktya. Narayana is not a creation of this material world. He is transcendental. He has accepted. And what to speak of the Vaishnava Acharyas, Ramanuchaj, Madhyacharya, all, they have written. Ah, so many nice commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Sutra, ah, ah, establishing that the Supreme Absolute Truth is person, the Supreme Personality of God. Krishna is speaking as person, ah, and he is warning the rascals, Abhajananti Mang Murha, Manasim Tanuvasita, because I am speaking as a human being, the rascals they derive. Uh, param bhava vajana. They do not know what is my influence, what is my power. So, these personality of Godhead, it is a fact. Brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti sabdhi. The last word is bhagavan. From bhagavan, the expansion is paramatma, localized as Ishara sarvabhutana vridde se ajjuna That is expansion. Ekanshena situ. That is one of the plenary portion. Vistabhya aham. He enters within this uh, universe and therefore the universe becomes manifest. Uh, just like I am soul, dehi nas means jatha dehi. I enter into this body, you enter into your body. Therefore the body expands. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of God enters as Garbhodok Sai Vishnu within each and every universe, then it becomes manifest. Uh, so there is no question of impersonal. Uh, the original source is person. Uh, Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhava, matta sarvam prabhata, iti matya bhajanti maang buddha bhava sabadhi. Buddha, not the abuddha. Abuddha means less intelligent. Those who are intelligent. Buddha, bhava samanita, uh, with a bhava, 
with an ecstatic position, can understand that Krishna is the original person. Aham Sarvastato. Sarvastato means including Brahma, Vishnu, Maestad, all the devas. Aham Adhidhi Devanam. He is the original source of all the devas. The original devas within this Brahma is the first deva, is the first creation. So, Aham Adhidhi Devanam. The Brahma Vishnu Mahasya. So he is the origin of Brahma Vishnu Mahasya. Uh, from Krishna, uh, for material creation, there are three Purusha. Uh, uh, first of all, three Purusha. Not directly from Krishna. From Krishna, Baladev. From Baladev, Chaturbhuha, Sankarsan, Vasudev, Sankarsan, Pradyumna, Niruddha. Then from Sankarsan, Sankarsan, Narayana. Then second Chaturbhuha. Uh, from the second Chaturbhuha, Sankarsan, the Purusha avatar, three Purusha avatar, three Vishnus, uh, Karano Dakshai, Garbho Dakshai, and Kiro Dakshai Vishnu. Uh, so, that in the Vedic literature, all these informations are there, and as Krishna says, personally also, Arjuna uh, uh, accepts that I accept on the authority of Vyasdev, Narada, Devala, Asita, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and you also speaking directly. Then where is my doubt? Ah. So we should follow, this is called Parampara system. As Arjuna understood Bhagavad Gita, if we understand that way, then we are perfect. Ah. I may be imperfect, but because I understand a Bhagavad Gita, as it was understood by Arjun, I am perfect. Because the knowledge I am distributing, that is not imperfect. Just like a, a post-peon, a post-peon is delivering you one thousand dollars. Say, he may be poor man, but the one thousand dollars he is delivering, that is a fact. That is not bogus, because he has not manufactured something. He has received that money order from the post office. He is asked to deliver it to such and such person. His honesty is to deliver the money order as it is to the bona fide person. That is his perfection. He doesn't require, because he is delivering one thousand dollars, he doesn't require to become a very rich man. He may be poor man. Similarly, uh, a, a guru, a guru is perfect when he delivers the words of the superior authority as it is. Then he is perfect. Uh, he may be imperfect in your estimation, but that is his perfection. Uh, that he is not misleading people by becoming a so-called rascal scholar and interpreting in a different way and misleading the whole population. That is perfect. Now, people say, say so much about me that I have done some wonderful thing, but I say that I am not a magician. I am not a magician. My only credit is that I am presenting Krishna as he is. I am not diluting Krishna. That is not my business. And therefore, because it is pure, pure ghee, therefore everyone accepts. And if you place dalda, mixing with ghee, some rascal thing, then nobody will accept. Therefore, so many samis went before me in the Western countries, and they presented adulterated. And there was not a single person became a Krishna Vapta. Now, by thousands there will be Why? Because it is presented pure thing. Pure thing will be accepted everywhere. Uh, I give this example. In, a, in Delhi, there is, I have seen, one, there is confectioner's shop. He uh, rigidly prepares in pure ghee all the sweetmeats. So you will find always hundreds of customers 
there. And there are, uh, by the side of the, so there is Dalla manufacture. It is not. People are still prepared to pay sufficiently if you give pure thing. So, our this Krishna consciousness movement is uh, presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. We have not manufactured anything. Uh, well, while I started this movement in America, some friends suggested that you are writing International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Why not make it God Consciousness? It will be accepted by everyone. No, no, no. God is Krishna. There must, go, there must be clearly stated Krishna Consciousness. I don't mind if nobody accepts it, but there must be Krishna. So, actually, uh, it is very happy that Western countries, they are accepting Krishna. Why not? Uh, Krishna is for everyone. Krishna is, God, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He says, Ahang bija padakita sarva joni shukaunti. In all forms of life, the living entities, they are my part and parcel, they are my son. I am the father originally. Bija padakita. So why Krishna will not be accepted? But actually that is happening. Uh, they are coming from different groups. But because every one of us is Krishna's son, Krishna's part and parcel, therefore uh, simply it requires a little uh, attentive hearing about Krishna. Sabanadi suddha chitte karoe udo. Seban mukhi hi jivhado saame vasparattado. In the Chaitanya Chaitamita it is said, Sravanadi Suddha Chitte Karai Uda. Krishna is there in everyone's heart. Ishara Sarvahutana. But we do not know. But Krishna and Krishna consciousness can be awakened simply by hearing from the realized path. Satang Prasangad Mama Vija Sangvida Bhavanti Ritkana Rasayana Katha. Satang Prasanga from the lips of devotees. Uh, when it is hard, uh, then it becomes ritkana rasayana. It becomes very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. Tadju sanat. If one cultivates in that way, asu abhavarga bhatmani sadha bhakti rati ranakramishvati. These are the formula. So, the process should be to receive the knowledge by disciplic success. Uh, uh, not uh, sporadically hearing sometimes, this scholar hearing something, this scholar I interpret in my scholars. No, this thing will not. No. Our process is as, as directed by Sanatana Goswami. Avaishnava mukhatgina puta harikatha amrita. Harikatha is amrita. Amrita. But still, it should not be received uh, when it is uttered by some avaishna. There is another direction. Avaishnava guru na sasyat satkarma nipuna vipra mantra tantra visharada. A person, a brahmana, satkarma nipuna. Brahmana's business is become, to become scholar and to make others scholar. Pathana pathana. Jajana jajana. He must be a worshiper and he must teach others how to worship. Pathana pathana jajana jajana. Dana pratigya. Brahmana receive charity and he makes uh, immediately distribute the charity. Uh, so these, these are the occupational duty of Brahma. Patan path. Sat karma. Sat karma nipuna. A Brahmana. He is very expert in his business. Sat karma. Sat karma nipuna. Mantra tantra visharata. And he has read the very glitterations and tantras very nicely. Visharata. Still, if he is not a Vaishnava, the Avaishnava, Guru na Sasya, so by that only qualification that he is not a Vaishnava, he cannot become Guru. Uh, whereas on the other hand, Sad uh, Vaishnava Sapacha Guru, if a person Sapacha, Sapacha means coming of the family of dog eater, Chandal, if he has become a Vaishnava, Sadatar Sampana Vaishnava. So, Guru Shah, you can accept him as Guru. Uh, 
There are so many instances. He was Ramanucharya's guru, was not from a Brahmin family, but still he accepted guru. So, in the Vaishnava literature, just like Haridat Thakur. Haridat Thakur, we give joy. Thakur Haridat Thakur ki joy. We say, this Haridat Thakur was born in a Mohammedan family. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made him Namacharya, Srila Haridatha. Uh, he was chanting Hare Krishna mantra daily, three hundred thousand of times. Uh, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu selected him, Namacharya. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself came to broadcast the glory of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So instead of becoming himself the Acharya, he designated Haridas Thakur as Acharya. Uh, and similarly, Sri Sanatana Goswami, Sri Rupa Goswami, they also became Mahavadas. They were born in Hindu, uh, Saraswat Brahman family. But due to, uh, to their association as minister of the Deedan uh, Muslim government, uh, they were rejected from the Brahman society. Uh, Formerly the Brahman society was very strict, and he was becoming serving, serving, servant. He is immediately excluded. So you cannot become a Brahman. You are serving. In the Srimad Bhagavatam also, by the, uh, spoken by Narada, he, he says a Brahmana, if he is in difficulty, he should not accept the business of a dog service. He should not accept service. He may go to the profession of a chhatriya or even up to Vaishya, not of a Sudra. Uh, these are the injections. Uh, so they were strictly being followed. The Sanatana Goswami, they are very learned scholars in Sanskrit, in Arabic language, Persian language. But because they accepted the ministership of Nawab Hussain sir, immediately they were rejected. Uh, and they changed their name. Almost they became Muslim. Sakar Malik Davir Khat, their name was that. These are Mahavinan names. So they were living like that. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, blessed them, they became the first class Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. Uh, and he therefore says, Prithivite Ache Jato Nagaradi Gram. He asked to spread this Krishna consciousness movement all over the world, in every village, in every town. Does he mean that let them become sudras, let them remain sudras and they become Krishna conscious? No. He did, did, he did not mean like that. That means everywhere there should be Vaishnava. And a Vaishnava means above Brahma. That is the Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Because you are here. It is for you. For us. You means you, me. Uh, because we wanted to enjoy, we become, we wanted to lord it over the material nature. Therefore, God has given you the facility that you enjoy. But just to make you uh, convinced that we cannot enjoy, uh, we become enjoyed. Uh, this conviction, when you come to this conviction that we cannot enjoy, we become enjoyed. At that time, we seek after God. Uh, that is natural. Athato Brahma So, God has created this material world because we wanted it. That is the philosophy. Huh? Uh. 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 No, the trouble must be there because God has created this world for your enjoyment and for my enjoyment. They therefore must be struggle because I don't agree with you, you don't agree with me. So why there's a lot of trouble? Because everyone, if everyone, just like in an office, if everyone wants to become the proprietor, will not there be confusion and chaos? 
Do you think the office will go on nicely? Similarly, here, God has given you a chance to become master because He wanted. But everyone wants to be master. And there is chaos. How there can be harmony when everyone wants to become God? Do you think it is all right? There must be chaos. Here is the position. Every in the material world, first of all they want to become a uh, big man, big businessman, big, big this, big that, minister, president. And when everything is failure, then he wants to become God. Uh, that is the last snare of Maya. So this is going on. How you can expect peace and prosperity here? That is not possible. Dukkhālaya-masā-satam, it is stated by Krishna himself that this is a place only for misery. But under the influence of māyā, we are accepting all miserable conditions of life as happiness. This is called māyā. He is qualified. Sattva, sama, dhamma, tipikha, ārjava, āstikam, Jnanam, vijnanam, when one has acquired all this quality, then he becomes Brahmi. Unless we come to that platform of bhakti yoga and become uh, re-related, not related, again, revive our Krishna consciousness, uh, we, there cannot be equality. That is not possible. Uh, there must be distinction, some higher class, some middle class, some lower class. Even in European countries, there in American, there are so are in India. So it is not very astonishing uh, because the whole world is uh, being conducted, the whole material nature is being conducted by the three gunas. And anyone associating with a particular type of guna, he must suffer and enjoy according to that guna. Jagannā guna vrittista adhoga chanti tamasa. Tamasa. These, those who are in the tamasic gone, they go adha. Uh, Madhya tishthanti rajasa. And Bhayamidya, those who are in uh, touch with the rajagun. And urdhanga chanti sattasva, those who are in the uh, goodness, they go up in the upper uh, platform of the society or in the universe. Uh, but Krishna says, Abrahma bhuvana loka and punara avasthinsya. Either you go even to the Brahma loka, one day you have to come to, to the hellish loka. This is the way. So some chakravat parivartanti sukhani dukhani. Just like the wheel turns down, sometimes up, sometimes down. So this is the position of this material world. There is no question of lament. You cannot say, these people are suffering and that people are enjoying. The man who is enjoying, he will also suffer next moment. This is going on, suffering and enjoying. Unless we come to Krishna consciousness, there is no uh, way of coming out of this do, uh, duality of this world. Uh, this is duality. Everything will find in dwell. Uh, unless there is happiness, you can understand what is this thing. And unless there is this test, you cannot understand happiness. You cannot understand uh, light unless there is darkness. So this is the world of darkness and light, so-called light. You have to transcend. Kaptadi uh, haṁ punar So we have to make arrangement. That facility is there to every human being. How he can get uh, out of this world of duality? and come to the transcendental platform, which is called uh, Abhyavitarini Bhakti Yoga. 
मांच व्याविचारिणी भक्ति जोगी न ज सेवते सगुणान समितान ब्रह्म भूया कल दैट इज इक्वाय चांट हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू सो यू रिजेक्ट एवरी थिंग दैट्स दैट इज दी That is very nice process. You reject everything because you are doubt in everything. So you reject everything. That's all. Therefore, our philosophy is achinta vidhare tat. Achinta in concept. That's why you are trying to conceive that whole world is God and is still God is not there. That is spoken by God Himself, Krishna. मस्थानी सर्वभूतानि नाहं तेषु अवस्थित मया कदमिद अवक्तमूर्तिना चीज इंपर्सनल फीचर ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवानेति द इंपर्सनल फीचर इज ब्रह्म सर्व खलुद ब्रह्म दैट मीन सर्वेदाम अखिलम जगत परस ब्रह्मण शक्ति सर्वेदम अखिल जिस लाइक द सन साइन यू आर इन द सन साइन देर इज ए प्रैक्टिकल थ्री द सन साइन इज नॉट डिफाइंड फ्रॉम द सन द सन इज नाइंटी थ्री मिलियंस ऑफ माइंड अवे बट स्टिल बिकॉज यू आर इन द सन साइन यू आर इन सन कैन यू डिनाइट दैट इज दिंग यू आर इन द सन साइन The sun sign is not different from the sun, but still it is not the sun. This is the philosophy, inconceivable, simultaneously one and different. The sun sign is not different from the sun, but still it is different. Similarly, the whole manifested, the cosmic manifestation is God, but still it is not God. Uh, this is therefore it is called inconceivable, achinta. With our tiny brain, we cannot accommodate how it is one and different. 